Welcome to the Funky Podcast. My name is Kieran. And my name is Sean. And, uh, well, uh, first of all, Sean, how are you today? Uh, I am doing somewhere on uh, the good spectrum. That's, or the good end of the spectrum. That's, uh, that's fantastic, Sean. Uh, yeah. I'm very happy. And what that. of you? Uh, I've been doing uh, pretty good. Uh, pretty good. Uh, it's been a been quite a good day today actually it's been good nice one yeah so uh sean what are we going to talk about today today we are going to talk about shoes 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 um i mean yeah i mean that struck a chord with me like Mm. um you know you have to choose your own destiny. Yeah. And you have to uh, choose the right shoes, you know? I agree. Um, yeah, I'm quite enthusiastic about this uh, topic today. Yeah. Um, you're probably wondering, well, wh- what's so great about shoes? And why are we talking about shoes? Well, um, there are so many things that uh, shoes have uh, done for uh society and uh, mankind and womankind mm. and humankind in general and uh i don't know you'd be styling as well you know yeah no i i, I need, like i always like love when i see people wearing shoes a lot of people uh, wear shoes these days um i would say uh if you go outside right now and uh, you're in a city or somewhere like chances are somewhere around 100 percent of people will be wearing shoes and you know that's a pretty big amount yeah i think yeah um, i agree I think yeah, I think definitely um there's most, there's some sense to shoes they clearly uh have caught on. Yeah. Um one thing that has uh, come into my uh very uh interesting brain is the idea um Wait, speak. Uh, I'm speaking. Yeah. Um. Uh, louder. Uh, speaking. Yeah. Okay. No, it's fine. Okay. Good. <laughs> I was just making sure. Uh, All right. I'll, I'll edit that. I was just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just making sure. I I didn't know if it was recording or not. I looked okay. a bit weird. Um, you know, I just get one track yeah. back. One would just look ridiculously lower i don't know anyway it's grand uh let's go right back to the beginning of uh shoes and um let's uh let's think about it uh when we were uh we little babbies you know babbies don't wear shoes Mm. uh until they can actually uh comprehend to walk when they have um exceeded and upgraded themselves and have left Mm. the pram so. Exactly. I remember when I was a child and I left the pram and I said to my mother, um, I've, I've definitely leveled up after gaining all this XP. And, uh, you know, even even back then as a little toddler who like had very little understanding of the world, I was out there making just some like epic and very topical video game references. My mother said, wow, that's so epic. Good times, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, what would be your favorite uh, pair of shoes you've ever had in your entire existence? That oh you can remember, man, anyway? my favorite pair of shoes. Uh, you're you're always styling with them anyway. I've always you. admired your shoes. I yeah. like the ones I have right now, but yeah. I know they're my favorite. I remember when I was uh, a few years ago, I had this like. This pair of very simple black and white ones, but like they were very comfy and yeah. uh, very light as well. But like also like they were still like durable and everything. Yeah. And uh, yeah. those were a good pair of shoes. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, um, I personally, uh, I admire uh, boots actually. Uh, the ones well, I have, uh, I, I wear the money on like you know the occasion or whatever. You know, I don't, you know, I don't be styling all the time. Like sometimes I just go simple or whatever but um they i i save them for like you know they match with uh stuff and sometimes it's like you know they they they, they go on like a really really good day you know what i mean mm. uh but um yeah i suppose like um one of my favorite ones would be 
uh there was one with like you know the, like red stripes and it was like white and Aww. it was like it was really cool and like it was uh the ones do you remember the time when you were a kid and like it wouldn't be the laces and it'd be like the, the straps two, it'd be a, yeah the two straps uh it was like one of them and it was yeah. like i think it was like blue at the end or something i don't know it was like it was really cool uh i used to like them yeah uh, I, I don't know like why most shoes nowadays don't still have velcro straps like f- shoes for adults like you know like Maybe some, maybe some like shoe scientists in the comments there can like correct us, but I don't, I don't see like any objective advantage to yeah. laces. Still, still uh, missing the power laces uh, from 2015's Back to the Future Part Two. I know. Yeah, you know, like, there, there was uh, there was certain about um, that with ties as well, and that should be for another podcast. But mm. uh, why ties have to be tied, and why can't they yeah. just have? You know, like uh, in school, uh, in primary school, we had like the the one you didn't tie it was just like the one with like it looked like it was tied but mm. it was just literally a clip on it, it wasn't even a clip on it was like uh a plastic band oh and like you just put it like under the shirt and it's like literally like uh held under it and you put on the jumper and it looks like it's uh, a tie uh tied mm. uh so yeah it always uh pretty cool but uh yeah um it is interesting though uh and you know i i know it's like oh but people will get less uh, academic but if they have to tie their laces but like i mean come on <laughs> you know what i mean it's um so sometimes uh for our society like we we you know if you're in a rush or something you know and you have to sit there and like tie your laces or you know if they're all mangled or whatever or like you're walking down the street and like you know your laces get tangled over or something like that you know you rather uh the uh aspect of actually uh you know like a power lace or you know something like that yeah i agree i mean i don't see like uh i don't see why society would become stupider or dumber i should say uh if they couldn't tie their laces i mean like sure like even if you want to say that maybe like Maybe put in a system where it's like you get like a trade off, like you know, you get like these shoes, these magic laces, and like sure you can choose to have them, you can choose to have them tie themselves, but like every time you do, um, the shoe will produce a knife and stab you in the foot. So you know, it's like a risk reward type of thing, you know. Like I think that would, uh, I think that'd be a good compromise. Uh, what do you think? That would be a great compromise, not mm. a good compromise, Whoa. a great compromise. A I, great compromise. Yeah, it's, but uh, but not a fantastic compromise. That's uh, no, 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 that's no. too that's too much. Um, unless they were like Fantastic Four shoes. No, oh, wow, yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, do you agree with that? Like, because you see in like the children's section right you see all this like cool crap you know what i mean you you see like you know you'd be walking in deals or something and you would like look over and you'd see like the t-shirts or you'd see this and that and it's like all like you know iron man or batman and it lo- looks mm. pretty cool and then you like get to the adult section and it's just like i don't know bernie bernie bernie's uh menswear or uh you know yeah you know it's just like it's so plain or like you get you know the kind of kind of gray and it's like i know like a really like grainy like basketball or like you know just something like that you know you want Mm. I know it's a brand or whatever, and you can buy it online, but it's handy, you know, like, I just feel like kids have it good these days, you know, they have yeah. uh, the better uh, fashion sense and the cooler stuff, you know? Yeah, no, sometimes I, sometimes, like, you go into the kids section and, like, some of this stuff is absolutely dripping on all of us. Um, like, I don't know, like, you'd see this, like, you'd, you'd see, like, they have a pair of, like, Lightning McQueen runners and it's just like man where is my high-end adult size lightning mcqueen runners i mean if i had fantastic four shoes i would be so happy with myself you'd feel you would feel like you were reed richards every day wearing them no i'd feel like the thing man honestly oh look yeah and i I, i'd i'd kill for it man i i really would like i even i don't know if it's a bit weird but in um and miss like i'm a really big kung fu panda fan as you know 
Yeah. And in Mr. Price, they had the, like, they had it in the kids section, like the, you know, the the cup and the, uh, like the teddy and the mm. thing. And I'm like, I mean, why is this in the kids section? It's just, yeah, cool. I, it's cool. <laughs> um, I would love a Kung Fu Panda cup. Yeah, I was I was so lucky to see it. It was like really cheap as well, so mm. I wanted it. And yeah, it's uh, it's awesome. I love it. So yeah, no, I agree. Um, like some, like I know, like there's like some companies like Van and stuff that, and like uh, Levi's, the like, like they've done like proper like fashionable stuff but it's like clever with like i know like mario and stuff like yeah I, yeah i know that was like a thing not long ago like the, yeah. the levi's mario collection everyone should do that where am i when am i when, where can i get like my gucci kung fu panda like collection is yeah what i want to know and uh you know what like shoes as well like yeah. they're so if like you know it's it's the thing about like brands and stuff you know what i mean like hmm. I don't really give a shit about the brand. Neither I don't do really I. get... Like, I literally go in. I don't even know the name half the time. I'm like, is it my size? Yeah. Is it an okay color? Looks like it. And then I'm like, all right, fuck it. B- bag, you know? <laughs> it should be simple like that. But, like, people, like, are obsessed with it to the point where, like, they're, like, you know... But, to be fair... The really some of the expensive ones, uh, n- not all, but some of the expensive ones do look cool. And I'm talking about uh the the real Jordans, mm. uh the real Air Jordan. Like um, uh, shout out to uh our uh friend, uh Callum Adams, uh he has uh, a uh, pair of real Jordans. Yeah, he's uh, he's very intent on making sure they're real Jordans. And then every like YTP ever made about them, like uh, that doesn't that every YTP made about them that features that they always make sure to like cut it up so he says they're fake Jordans, and then he gets very irate about that, and it's like oh comedy. Yeah, no, it's um, yeah, it's 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 the thing about like uh, shoes as well for, and I don't want to just talk about uh, men's shoes as well, but I'll talk about uh women's obviously you know just we're we're very inclusive here um you know it's uh it's just it's really interesting like the the overall sort of evolution of uh shoes and stuff like that um i've seen uh you know uh trends come back and then uh kind of cool trends leave uh, but uh, obviously, at the end of the day, mostly it's just uh, some really, really good uh, brands and stuff like that. So yeah, I only really like use brands as a way to tell. Like, if I have something from a brand that I like, I'll be like, okay, I'll keep an eye on them in case they make something else I like. But it's like beyond that, like the name recognition, that 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 name recognition yeah, uh, I, doesn't I mean that. doesn't yeah. mean anything to me yeah it's just what what i mean about uh mostly like the sort of uh evolution of it it's like you know i'm, I'm not gonna like name me i'm not I'm talking about like the aspect of like the texture and stuff like that how it's like some of it's like barely like evolutionized at all and like it's like sorry something like a throwback or something like you watch um back to the future or something and he's like wearing like converse or something mm. and like i don't know they they look cool and then like you'd see um i don't know he's even wearing them in like rocky when he goes for that run and uh, that would i haven't worn converse quite a bit like i feel like that would hurt <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but um <laughs> i feel like that pain is real um yeah. and uh you know uh the, the like scenes from uh movies like especially like back then like if you look at their uh, shoes like they, they look fucking i mean i wear i want them yeah you know what i mean and like i don't know it's uh sometimes though i do agree like sometimes they look a bit too clean you know did you ever get that in in movies no 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 not in movies but you know like fashionable people in general they look a oh. bit too uh yeah it's too sus- clean suspiciously clean like no i'm not like talking about like being dirty or anything like that i mean oh. like in like the terms of like realism and it's just like 
I don't know, you'd be watching, I don't know, like, a TV tree or something, and, like, Love Island would be on, and it's just, like, you'd see them, like, walking, and they, they're strutting their stuff or whatever, and it's, like, the texture of it, it's, like, it's so plain as well. Oh, like, yeah, Like, it's, like, no. greeny sort of thing, and it, it's just, I don't know, it makes me want to puke, you know what I mean? It just feels not real, you know? Yeah, no, I definitely, um, yeah, no, overly, like, uh, I, I know what the what I'm looking for is, it's yeah, like... It's, it's so much of those shows as well, with, like... Too basic, kind of, I guess. Yeah, too basic, and like, it's like, oh, look at this, it's so expensive. <laughs> yeah, like, hey. I feel that way about, like, like, suits and stuff, it's like, a lot of people, like, go mad for the suits and everything, it's just, like, li- literally all of these things look the same. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I would, like, I would get one to use, like, maybe for, like, a formal occasion, I would literally never wear it otherwise. Yeah, and, like, you would, uh, you would find someone who's obsessed with fashion or something. Yeah. That would say here and name about, like, 70 brands, mm-hmm. and, like, you look at all of them, they're literally the same thing, That's you know li- what I mean? Yeah, I see, like, I remember, like, I was doing a home economics exam, thing one time and like we were talking about like men's versus women's fashion it's like the men's fashion it's like literally all of it is just plain suits like why <laughs> why why is why is this the gold standard this is like literally, again literally all these look the same i mean like you know if i'm ever like on like a famous talk show i'm gonna make sure i wear the exact same outfit as like mr bean and see what people would say. Like, the exact same, like, the brown and, like, the red tie and the shirt. Like, I will literally dress as Mr. Bean and see what people say. And if no one notices, it means that literally um, your thing is right. And it's, like, it literally just looks the same. And it's, like, mm. you know, it's just different colours, which... You know, sometimes they, like, do it up or whatever. Like, sometimes, like, you know, like, Graham Norton, he has fashion sense, you know. Yeah, he has good suits. And, like, yeah, his, like, I don't know, something about, like, the shoes that you see on, like, those talk shows where it's, like, the brown ones and they, like, go in and it's, like, I don't know, sort of, like, it's talking to you or something. Like, they, like, the shape of them or something, like, you know what I mean? Mm. Or, like, I know, like, those, um, it's always, like, those hosts and stuff like that. They wear, like, shoes, like, unreal. It's, like, something from, like, the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory or something like that. Like, it's just so, um, I don't know, some of them, like, go up, uh, like, uh, sort of, like, you know, the elves and, um, some of those like santa claus things where like it like curls over yeah, it just yeah, feels yeah. like that i'm just like what the fuck is that shoe man like honestly. i'd respect it more if they were wearing just elf shoes because then they're at least going all the way yeah yeah um uh moving on from like genuine shoes uh what are your opinion on uh slippers I'm a big, big fan of slippers. Yeah. I have uh, multiple pairs of slippers that really? I own. Oh my god, well, I have yeah. two. <laughs> I mean, I have like only three, I think. So it's like not not that much more, but like no, I um I'm a big I'm a big slipper enthusiast. Yeah, yeah. I um, uh, tend to wear them around the house all the time. Yeah. Very yeah. cozy. I mean, I just like I'd wear them in public if I could, personally. Oh yeah, no, I would. There's, there's times where you know, I'd um, I'd get dressed in the morning. But, like, I, I don't want to, like, put on my shoes just yet because I have time. So, mm-hmm. like, I just, like, have my breakfast and, you know, I'd, like, have be dressed. But, you know, I just have my slippers while I'm in the house. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just, like, as a thing. And, like, I remember, like, uh, my dad just, <laughs> don't go to sh- school in your slippers. I don't care. And I'm, like, hmm. uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, of course. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not going to walk out of the house and go, oh, shit, you know. <laughs> I, I've worn odd shoes once by accident really yeah a funny story right so not really but we'll tell it anyway it's a story so I walked out of the house right I don't know I must have been like so like preoccupied with what I was doing anyway I was waiting at the bus stop and like my house is uh, actually close enough to it so it was grand and like my sl- sister came out pissing herself laughing and uh she said look down 
And we're like, oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, my God. I mean, like, they weren't that different. And I don't know how I ended up doing it. I, I must have had, like, pairs, like, really close to each other or something. I don't know what age I was, but, yeah, it was crazy. I remember I got my shoes taken off me in primary school one time when I was in second class. What? Yeah, in the, the front, at the schoolyard, yeah. Someone, like, grabbed them and, like, oh. threw them down oh. the... No, someone grabbed one of them and, like, threw it down because uh, there was, like, a metal bar and, like, there was, like, a bunch of bushes and stuff and he, like, grabbed it and, like, threw it down by there. Oh, what a cunt. <laughs> yeah. I had, like, I, some... I thought, I thought you for a second, like, you said, like, that was, like, the teacher confiscated them and I was like, how? No, no, no. Some uh, some asshole just, like, took them. And, uh, uh, that is an asshole. Yeah. I was there and, like, uh, one shoe just going up to a teacher. I'm like, it's down there. And, uh... I made, like, a tantrum, and I got to go home early, so, yeah. Oh, well, you know, in the end, I guess you did win in the <laughs> yeah. end. You did win in the end, Yeah, yeah. you got to go home early. Yeah, I know, I just, I don't know, I was sick anyway, so I just, oh, yeah. I wanted to leave. <laughs> I don't know if I was sick, I just wanted to leave sometimes, but, uh, yeah. You were sick of all of this bullshit. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, yeah, no, I uh, have thankfully never had an experience like that. Um, I was like, if I found out like I was wearing odd shoes, I just like I just go in like and I just go ahead with it, like I just I just I just wait to see until like someone points it out. <laughs> You'd be like, oh yeah, and if like so, and if they pointed it out, I'd say it was on purpose. Yeah, I mean like, uh, it is the funky podcast after all. Yeah, We're two you funky know, people. So two funky people. Yeah, two, two funky people funking down the funking world. Anyway, so uh. With, uh, obviously, uh, regular shoes that you wear, uh, with women's shoes, it's, uh, it's interesting, like, you know, in, um, it's the same with, like, regular, like, uh, sweaters or, like, jackets or something, if you go into, uh, the section, and not, like, to any of the fancy stuff, but, like, to genuine, like, runners and shoes and stuff like that, a lot of it looks like the exact same thing. It's just smaller sizes, basically. You know what I mean? Like, if you, like, go in and, like, look at their, like, runners or their regular shoes or, you know, mm. it just looks very, uh, it just looks this similar. It's just smaller. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Um, but, uh, with, um, their, uh, fashion thing as well, uh, I do think, you know, obviously it's like glammed up or whatever so, so, so for some stuff, but I, I do uh, genuinely think uh, that sometimes uh, their ones can be a bit too clean as well. You know what I mean? Hmm. Um, I mean, like, sometimes it looks great, but I don't know. There's something about, um, you know, <laughs> when it looks like it's made of wood. I don't know, there's something about that. Made of wood? Yeah, it looks like, uh, they look, you know those ones, they they have, like, the texture of wood, and, like, there's just one strap or something. Huh. I don't know, there's something about that, I'm just like, is that the best you can do uh, with that? I don't know. Did you ever get that? Uh, kind of, I guess, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I, I never really thought about, like, the wood texture myself, but, I mean, like, no, I, I guess you can kind of see what you're coming, coming from. Yeah. But yeah, um, as we're talking about shoes, here's a question I got for you. Like we've we've talked about our opinions on slippers, but um, sandals. Do you consider sandals a shoe? Do I? I think all footwear is some sort of shoe. I mean, okay. it's called footwear, but yeah. I, yeah. I genuinely think, you know, I, I, I don't know. Like, if someone asks me what type of shoe, I like. I'd approach it with all footwear just because, you know, I don't, I don't want to, like, discriminate any of it. And, like, I'm not going to leave any of it out. Because all it is, like, it, it literally is that. But I genuinely think that all footwear should be called shoe. I, that's just me. I think I agree, though, yeah. actually. Yeah, I think I agree. Yeah, I mean, like, if if it wasn't, uh, they'd have another word for things like slippers and sandals or something. Yeah. You know. Um, which they don't. And, uh, if there's someone in the comments that, like, has a definition and, like, gives me, like, a Wikipedia comment, uh, I won't read it. But, <laughs> you know, with, uh, Sandoz, uh, to get your point, eventually, after five hours, 
I would I consider it a shoe? Yes. Uh, what do I think of sandals? Uh, I think they're quite interesting, especially for the beach. Uh, I think that should be like uh some of the only times. Uh, maybe for uh out of the shower as well because you know when you if you step into like slippers or something right after it, it's like the top uh of it can feel of your foot can like go on like the texture of like your slippers and they would like get a bit wet so yeah you know sometimes it's just good to like slip into them yeah uh, like sandals or whatever uh but um for like outside in you know public uh personally i wouldn't do it i don't know maybe uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I I mean, like they, I don't have any problem with people that do wear them mm. at all, and uh, I don't really have a problem with uh, socks and sandals. I mean, like it's not gonna like bite you or anything. I just have uh, a problem with you know those like uh, greeny sort of uh, thing that looks like it was like powdered up or something, and it just looks too uh, clean. And I have a problem with like the elfy sort of uh, brown. Uh, sort of uh, tabletop um, squeaky squeaky uh, shoes and stuff like that uh, those are my only uh, shoes I have issues with but what about you what do you think uh, yeah no I uh, I agree like I only like ever wear sandals like when I'm going to the beach or I'm like going to the pool or something and like before I get in the water and uh, yeah that's the only time I'd wear them I don't wear them otherwise um, socks and sandals I uh... yeah I don't See, like, I, when I was younger, I used to always make fun of socks and sandals, I think. I don't know. I think me and my mother just did that because my dad likes it and, you know, we're very competitive about opinions um, in our household. But, um, <laughs> yeah, no, um, I think they still look stupid, but they are comfy, so that's, uh, that's how I feel about socks and sandals. Yeah. I would say, overall, I rate sandals lower than shoes, though. Yeah, no, I, I, I can agree with that. Uh, yeah, compared to, like, regular shoes or whatever. Um... You know, my favorite type of shoes on a man or a woman is definitely boots, though. Especially, mm. like, the any type. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I do... It doesn't really matter, like, the color for me. It just... It can't look too kind of... You know, sometimes they look a little too polished or something. And I, I keep going on about this. But, like, some of them look literally like a tabletop. You know what I mean? And uh, th- those kind of ones just don't really sit with me i like when it's you can like see the fabric of it or something mm. um and uh yeah on a man or a woman i, I really like it um heels on a woman is nice too mm. uh heels on a man uh, in modern day seems a bit weird but if you go back in history it was originally uh four men or something like that yeah I'm not really going to get into, like, the gender discussion, uh, look, but what I would say is, uh, whatever, um, you feel you want to wear, uh, that's, uh, not a hassle, but please, whatever you do, do not wear squeaky shoes. Oh, squeaky shoes, Jesus. But, you know, I, I will say, like, be positive about yourself, be bright, have a heart and love uh, the shoes you wear, even if they are from the women's section or the dog section or um, the uh, men's section or, like, the cat section. You know, that's okay. Even if you wear slippers in society. But please, please, please never wear squeaky shoes. I agree. And on that subject, actually, that you brought up, the, how do you feel about people who make slippers for their cats and dogs? Like, what are you, what are your opinions on that? Um, I don't know. Sometimes dressing up your dog or cat in anything, sometimes it's okay, you know, as long as it's not hurting the uh, pet animal or something like that. Um, but you know, like. One or two things is fine, but, you know, when it's, like, overly stuffed, like, if you, like, dress them up as, like, an Eskimo or something like that, (laughs) like, you know, or, like, getting ready for Alaska or something, and it's just, like, completely, like, 
you know, the dog, you can, like, see he's unhappy. Or the cat just looks yeah. unhappy. And, like, that must be, like, so warm for them. They literally already have a full coat Yeah, they have fur, yeah. Uh, for, you know, if it's, like... I would only put, like, shoes on my cat if, like, the nails got a bit too long or something. Mm. And there was, like, kids around. Or something like that, just in case. Uh, but, uh, mostly... I, I wouldn't imagine it, but I would leave people uh, to their own uh, devices, but I, I just uh, just don't uh, damage the pet or mm. animal in any way. That's that's all. Uh, what, what about you? What do you think about it? I uh, agree with everything there. I think it's, uh, you know, it's a cute idea, but it's like sometimes it's just like unnecessary. Uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, well, I tell you a funny story. Oh, uh, shout out to my sister. Um, she's amazing. Big, big ups, Sister Healy. <laughs> sister Healy. Yeah. So uh, there was one time uh, she was with a friend from work, and uh, there was uh, someone. Uh, they were they were about to go in the elevator, and someone who they worked with walked past and goes hi, and uh, walked uh, down the hallway, and it was squeaky shoes and it was uh had been raining out so it was even squeakier shoes and uh one of the uh people that my sister's work sister works with one of the girls uh goes look at their fucking spongebob walking down the hall (laughs) and like when my sister and her friends got in the elevator they literally pissed themselves (laughs) laughing like they couldn't uh, and you're one who said the joke and I just like looked over and she was like what the fuck are you laughing at like I was just saying like whatever came into the mind but what, what? <laughs> oh wow I wouldn't even take that as an insult I'd find it too funny like your one didn't hear like she was down the hallway when she said hi and uh <laughs> fucking sponsored up <laughs> Oh, oh god, yeah. Jeez. No, I, but uh, I don't have a problem with women's heels. I love them in a way. Um, but you know, sometimes you can like hear hear it down the hallway, like especially if it was like a teacher you don't like, and you're like, oh fuck, and you run into another room. So like, the, it's a dead giveaway almost. Like it's like almost like a growl off, like a like a monster or something. Like you like you would hear it down the hallway, and you'd like go into a different classroom and like, you chat away to like the one of the lads or something teaching <laughs> but um you know hiding until uh the monster uh woman uh, <laughs> walks away <laughs> so she doesn't catch you or whatever um but yeah <laughs> um i don't have a problem with any other way than that it's just a dead giveaway and sometimes of who it is sometimes but unless there's like multiple people wearing it but i don't know it's grand i suppose well, what's your opinion on uh, uh, heels? I uh, yeah, I think heels are pretty nice. I wouldn't wear them myself though, because they just always seem so uncomfortable. But I mean, now the people like them, and that's important. Yeah. That's what's important. And they look nice, but you know, it's uh, it's a really interesting fact. I don't know how true it is, but you know the lead singer Lizzie Hale. Yeah. Uh, she has stated, uh, that the stripper heels that she wears in like the uh heavy metal uh concerts she says they're actually really comfortable oh and like i think it's because they're like they're so high up and like there's a certain aspect to it that they uh they've made it kind of with the the way it is and like you know the people from uh kiss have uh worn uh those shoes the men from that band on stage and they're able to do uh their shows and like walk around and stuff so yeah no it's um uh i think they're like made uh really well or something so they can like appear uh that way and like yeah it's just really interesting that especially those uh people in that uh economic kind of job have the most comfortable kind of heels it's so interesting i don't know i don't know how true the fact is mm. i don't know i don't i i think we need to get like uh one of the women from 
ground floor and get like it's... different types of shoes and like try them on which is actually the most we'll have to do like uh what was the channel uh that we were gonna try uh for the uh thing where we we're gonna get like uh you know like you know we, we win like a ferrari if like we try on like i don't know Oh god, I remember what you're talking about now. Yeah, I, oh, I can't no. remember. You, you'll hear, you'll know, you'll know. The I mean, audience will know because they can go back and play. It. Yeah, I just I can't remember. It was funny anyway when you said it, mm. but uh, it was like teapot challenge or something like that. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. Maybe we'll we'll um, we'll get Erin or Ariane or something. Yeah. Or uh, you know, just someone. Uh, <laughs> on on you. Yeah. <laughs> um, shout out to those uh, girls. But, uh, yeah, I was going to say something a while ago, and now I've completely forgotten it as well. I get that. Shit. I have something to say now anyway, yeah, go on, so go I can tie you over. So, we've established our feelings on sandals. How about Crocs? You know what? Uh, as I said before, the only problems uh, with shoes I have are uh, the ones that look uh, very, very uh, too... Uh, artificial i have a problem with squeaky shoes because there are bollocks um i don't have problem with heels but the uh you know it it's pretty handy for uh you know uh young boys in school if the teacher is wearing them because they can like uh, jump into the bathroom or whatever but uh what i will say is uh uh for uh all the women teachers out there i'll take them off and like uh, sneak up behind them and scare the shit out of them. Uh, do it for the lads. Um, and uh, yeah, that's the only problems I have. I don't have a necessarily a problem with Crocs, but they they do seem genuinely like something you wear in your garden. You know what I mean? Basically, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, or you know, they be they seem like a place where you play like crazy golf, and like they seem like shoes for that. I, you know I think what I mean? get what you mean. Yeah. yeah, like, you know, chilling out or like you're gardening and like you, your Crocs on, you know, you have, I don't know, you're wearing like sunglasses and you're there and like, I don't know, like a, I don't know, maybe like a shirt or something, sun, sun's out, uh, I don't know, a Hawaiian shirt, maybe, uh, you know, you're just chilling and, you know, everything's good, you have your lemonade, you have your Crocs on, you know, you're styling away. But, like, if you, like, I don't know, say now in the middle of the winter, and you had, like, a big, like, furry coat with, like, you know, the hood that looks like a nest, and uh, you have, you know, your big pants, and then you look down, and it's just fucking Crocs, you know, like, uh, I don't know, I, I'd question it, but I wouldn't really have necessarily a problem with it, especially, like, walking around in them. I, I don't know if I would do that. Um... I don't even know if I've actually worn Crocs in my lifetime. I don't think I have. And maybe ages ago. I I honestly, I didn't really know exactly what it they were until like a couple of years ago, necessarily, because it became like a bit of a, uh, you know, people meme it and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I don't necessarily have a problem with them, but they do genuinely seem like something for, uh, ideal for just. Uh, the garden yeah i think i agree with that i uh crocs for me like uh no they're kind of like they're so like kind of ridiculous looking that i kind of like them i never worn them myself though i don't think they kind of look like something the frog would wear the frog from where from flushed away obviously the frog from flushed away but any frog really I oh <laughs> like not not like a real life frog but like i don't know like a cartoon frog that's what Kind of comes into my mind. I think I get what you... I think I get that, yeah. 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 Um. This is going to be another opinion type of a question, but uh, what are your feelings on moon shoes? What the fuck is a moon shoe? A moon shoe is... um. It's, uh, it's basically like a big bouncy like platform with like a strap on it so you can wear it and then just bounce away. What? Yeah, it's a it's it's a thing. Moon shoes. 
Like, can you explain it to me again? I, I don't really understand what it is. It's like, hang on, I'll, I'll get a picture, but it's like, it's basically like a trampoline on your feet is the best way I can describe Jesus it. Christ. It's like a big box and it's, uh, you bounce on it and, uh, well, you wear it as you bounce on it. So, uh, like, I think they're great personally. Like I would wear the, I would wear them to, uh, just... <laughs> a date. <laughs> No, I mean, did I wear it to the office? Like, I, I, like you know, anytime there's like an awkward situation, like, here's a picture there. Anytime there's like an awkward situation, um, that I need to get out of, I can just like bounce away on my moon shoes out the window. Like, if I'm at the office and like my boss is annoying me, like I can just be like, man, fuck this meeting, and just like, moon shoes away out the window. They kind of look like um, sandals on top of boxes. Basically, yeah. <laughs> It's like a pla- it's like a basket under you, but you can't put anything in it. Like, yeah, that's what it's like. Um, they seem like something little Charlie would wear. You know that pitch. I, I feel like I agree. Yeah. Um, you yeah. know, for uh, the little Charlies, like we we pitched like that he was gonna have light up shoes like the Skechers, but uh, I feel like he'd have them in he the can, scene as well. He can switch between them every scene. <laughs> no, like I mean, like he like vlogged them. Uh, you know. And they get, like, two views. But, like, you know, it's like little Charlie doing, like, a vlog and stuff with uh, the it's, moon shoes. There's the way with Charlie moon shoes vlog. Uh, 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 here's my moon shoes unboxing. <laughs> yeah. Just imagine. Uh, I, I, like, I, li- I like that they bounce and go up and down. Could you, like, imagine, like, a little Charlie very tired. And this is Christian Bale with his Batman voice. And he's, oh, yeah, so, uh, you yeah. know. Oh, this is my moon. In my moon shoes. <laughs> he does ASMR. <laughs> he tries it out. Uh, this is Lil Charlie ASMR. I'm boxing the moon shoes. I, uh, they made me go bounce and go wee. I like that a lot. Yeah. So, uh, when I was thinking. Oh. oh. Is everything alright? Uh, I did hear a bit of a clip there. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, hopefully, nothing happens. Speak. Uh, speaking. Uh, it's still recording, I think. Yeah, I know. It is. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I got such a hard time. All right. Yeah, no. Yeah, we're okay. fine. We're fine. I'll I'll, um, I'll edit it out. It's all good. Yeah, you know, you need not know any of this. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Uh, what I was thinking as well. Uh, there's a certain uh story that. Uh, my father told me about uh, two people who I won't name, uh, you know, just for copyright uh, fragments. Uh, they'll, we'll get a DMCA because of, like, the rights holders yeah. of their names. Yeah, no, it's just, you know, uh, Cork is a lovely place in Ireland, right? Yeah. But uh, there's a lot of um, absurd uh, people that, you know, around. Yeah. I'm sure you've... Quirky fellows. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you've uh, met a few, Sean. Uh, yeah, I've met many. Um, one of them is right here next to me th- at this moment. Thanks. <laughs> so, um, yeah, no, th- there was uh, this, uh, this couple uh, who live on a certain street. And there was, by Leisureplex, they had basically the dump. I don't know if it was right beside that, but it was like from one of those uh, places and they were throwing out their uh, shoes. It was like a uh, skip, basically. Okay. Uh, somewhere. Uh, I'm not sure. It was on like one one street anyway. And they were. My dad, father was walking past, and uh, they were trying on uh, bowling shoes. Uh, and they were like free shoes, and I like see. they were they were throwing them out. And, um, it was like, you know, those are like shoes, those are like shoes from like years and years of, uh, things and stuff like that. So I'm not really sure like what the hell was, (laughs) why they were like taking those, but they like looked like tattered and old and stuff like that. But I don't know. Uh, 
they were like, uh, oh, look, would you like some free shoes? And, um, yeah, it was, uh, it was kind of, uh, odd for my dad to see that. And they were, uh, yeah. That, uh, that is unusual. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I, like, I can imagine, I can't imagine wearing like bowling shoes, like outside of it. Yeah, no, it, it was like, like, it was so tattered as well. They uh, like, yeah. you know, from years and years of uh things and like they were basically being thrown out like you would not want them like you know what i mean so yeah we uh, they had those and they were very excited about free shoes so i don't know why (laughs) man society will accept people wearing bowling shoes in public before they'll accept wearing slippers in public like that says a lot i think yeah myself uh i was in dublin saturday and we like looked in the window and we saw someone uh, wearing Crocs uh, sitting down in a cafe. And we were like, just top man. You know what I mean? <laughs> Absolute legend. Uh, I, don't, I also, you know, some old people, well, not to be ageist or anything, but like they always have like quirky uh, styles of shoes. Like, uh, I remember, uh, you, you know this woman as well. She has like a frog on her. Uh, shoes and stuff like that oh yeah her? yeah um yeah i i don't know i just I, I accept it you know what i mean i'm just like yeah, yeah go ahead you know i i'm very accepting of most things i i i, I quite i quite in, i quite enjoy like their uh, unique sense of fashion yeah i like um uh, George Lucas's sense of fashion as well, in general. Like, he wears, like, obviously the same... Not not the same padded shirt, but, like, uh, multiple shirts that are probably the same... In the same section, or mm. in the same, the same area. He's not dirty or anything, but he always wears, like, these, like, uh, sneakers and stuff like that. And it's just like, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, no, I think uh, I think everyone working on the Star Wars is quite uh, has quite a good sense of fashion. You got George with his shirts, and you know you got you got Dave Filoni always rocking the cowboy hat and everything as well. It's like everyone's just so styling in that in the, in the Lucasfilm land. Yeah, if you ever see Adam Driver in um you know an interview and stuff, he has has that jumper on him, and I'm like, yeah, man, that's you so go. Cool. Yeah. Oh no, John Boyega. Oh like, yeah. His fashion sense. I'm like man like how how would you be the handsome like yeah I, I mean he'd rock anything but like to be honest like he's just man <laughs> you know what i mean i love i love that man i i oscar Isaac, all of them really yeah and even like the old stuff like harrison and stuff like that yeah like all of them have so much fashion sense like it's so cool do you That's think really George Lucas would wear moon shoes? I don't think so. Oh. I don't know. Maybe. I, I don't think he would. I, I don't think he's ever worn another type of shoe in his life. He probably wears those uh, types of sneakers. Like, you know what? The bat suit, right? Yeah. And, like, when... When he goes into the bat cave, you like he opens up the thing and it's literally like, just like the same outfit but with like just di- it, it's literally the same thing. It's just a different one from the one he was wearing previous. I feel like George has like a big closet of just the same shoes. I I think I agree with that. Yeah, you know who would wear moon shoes though? Who? Daisy Ridley. Oh, totally. Yeah. Totally. And uh, I feel like uh, I feel like John would wear them as well. I think he would. I think uh, he seems like I th- he seems like the type of guy that has good opinions. So I think he uh, he would indeed have yeah, yeah. shoes. Um, I think Mark Hamill will wear socks and sandals. He probably would. Yeah. He probably would. Oh no, Carrie Fisher. If she was still here. Would definitely wear moon shoes. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh. Harrison is definitely more of like you know a professional kind of guy who would wear yeah. like uh you know just regular type for the occasion which is fine mm. you know I don't mind a uh, regular fellow I mean like Adam Driver is probably the same but I feel like Moon Shoes would be someone like Mark Hamill or like you know someone like that yeah but I will tell you who wears the worst type of shoes though who 
Anthony Daniels. I feel like that guy uh, has like the cleanest shoe you will ever see. I he, don't know. He, he seems, just seems like the kind of guy that wears the elf shoes. Yes. And like, you know, whenever you look at someone and it's like, um, you know, you can like tell he literally spends about five hours on his self-care. You know what I mean? Probably. And like, you know, there's so there's a difference between self care and like literally in love with yourself kind of thing. There's there's self care and then there's selfish. I guess I don't know. I just get the vibe. He's probably grand. I don't know. I mean, yeah, no. I mean, I think it's good. Never trouble. Like I, I. Mm. He just has that vibe. He would wear. Yeah, he shoes. he definitely has that vibe. I oh, really he he acts like an elf anyway. He should be in the Santa Claus movies. Yeah, he should be in the upcoming Santa Claus. Uh, does he pass, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he should be in that. He should be. Maybe he is. Probably could be. Yeah. I see Wouldn't Wouldn't surprise me, It wouldn't honestly. surprise... Like, he has appeared as C-3PO on every single thing, probably. I don't I think... So. I, th- I feel like he just wants that record that he appears uh, as... Uh, that character no matter what like I yeah. feel like if I made a fan film and like I wanted him to come to my house to voice he, he would literally just like manifest outside the door like ready to record yeah Danny Trail as well like he'd, he'd yeah. show up yeah but uh yeah oh, oh. man Danny Trail would definitely wear moon shoes absolutely he would oh yeah shoes. oh yeah yeah um that's good that, that should be like he should like do that in the next machete like in the next Mache, like, Mache just rocks up with moon shoes, and then he just, like, does this thing where he jumps high up in the air, and then yeah. just, like, just, like, slashes a guy yeah. from above, like, hi, I'm me, Robert Rodriguez. <laughs> yeah. I feel like, um, I feel like Daisy Ridley has, like, really comfy slippers. Yeah, she like, has that vibe. Like, I feel like she would wear, like, uh, fluffy socks and, like, fluffy uh slippers and i feel like they'd be like the comfiest stuff ever i feel like she she'd have that vibe uh i feel like george lucas doesn't have a pair of slippers i feel like he just wears his sneakers as slippers i feel like he probably has like one pair of like fairly modest slippers but that's it Uh, (laughs) they're just white as well they look basically sneakers, (laughs) or like there's the same pattern as his shirt i'd agree with that or they were made out of his shirt (laughs) <laughs> it's like old well, ones. You know, that just means like he's good at recycling, like good for. Him. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, yeah, yeah. Of course. Oh my god, he made him out of pizza boxes. <laughs> Again, my point exactly. Yeah. Good recycling. Yeah, no, that, that's what I mean. You know what? Like those people that are obsessed with recycling, though. Yeah. Do you think they would actually wear wooden shoes, or something like that, or like wear like you know out of like pizza boxes and like, make a shoe out of that? probably not but like they should yeah i'd wear that yeah no there was like this um there was this movie called i i'm not sure it was like a post-apocalyptic movie i'm not sure was it the road or was it like something else but uh in one scene they have wooden shoes really yeah i'm not sure what movie it was but like I'm sure, like, Mm. somewhere in some house, somewhere, I think you would find a pair of shoes. Like, I don't think you need wooden shoes. Like, I feel like you would uh, find them somewhere. Even if, like, you needed to make your own shoes, like, why out of wood? Yeah, I'm not sure. It seems like it's very non-flexible material, you know? Like, at least make it out of, like, I don't know, cloth or something. Yeah. Uh, Since we're on the topic of, like, shoes and stuff, what, what are your opinion... On, like, uh, famous shoes, like the the Ruby Slippers from The Wizard of Oz. I feel uh, like they're iconic. I'm a big fan of the Ruby Slippers. I uh, I wouldn't wear them myself. I, 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 no, we don't have to answer that. That's okay. Um, well, I want to answer that. I wouldn't wear them myself. But I do like them a lot. I'm a big, yeah. big, uh, give a nice, solid uh, thumbs up to the Ruby Slippers. I mean, if I was alone in a house... For a good while. And they were just there. I might just... Just to try it, you know? Because I'm a just, big Wizard of Oz fan. Just so. to say you did it. But I wouldn't say I did it. I wouldn't tell okay. anybody. Unless they, like, walk in and, like, I get very embarrassed. But, like, I, I would I would have a little, like, kind of... 
and not fun Dorothy moment, I suppose. No, I think uh, I think I respect that a lot. I mean, to be fair, like I yeah. said, I wouldn't wear them, but like if I was around them that much, like you know, like the thought would have to cross my mind. Yeah, no, but uh, if if it was only me and you, I'd I'd I, I'd ask you uh, to try them as well. I and I do the same to you. Cool, that's fair. What um, other famous shoes are there? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. I'm thinking. Um, I suppose like uh, like the futuristic ones. Yeah. You know, you you look at um something like, uh, you know, those like anime stuff, and they always have, they always have like the coolest looking ones. You know what I mean? Mm. Or like uh, you know, uh, like. And, um, you know the Shaggy from Scooby-Doo? Oh, yeah. His, like, brown ones, I always wanted to, like, they actually look kind of... I don't know, they're simple, but, like, they yeah. look cool. Shaggy's a fashion icon to me. Yeah. And not just because they've been told I look like him. <laughs> yeah. But, no, honestly, I feel like, you know, out of that group, I feel like the comfiest person there, if you look at, like, their classic uh, costumes... Sorry, I fired it. Um, <laughs> but if you look at uh, Shaggy's uh, costume compared to everybody else, it's um, I would say that Shaggy is definitely the most comfortable out of all of them. Mm. You know what I mean? Like he's just there in his like packy t-shirt and his pants, and yeah, just rocking it, man. Yeah. I think we should like, you know, instead of. Uh, like the main takeaway from anything is like, you know, you obviously if they look nice and you if you feel good in them, wear them. But you know, keep it on occasion. If you're gonna wear something uncomfortable, then you know, uh, do it only for that occasion. Don't wear them all the time for mm. regular, uh, days or regular wear. Uh, outside you should just do whatever it is that you're comfortable with and that goes not just for shoes but for all of it and i feel like shaggy has taught me that in life yeah i think we can learn a lot from shaggy in general yeah on the subject um how do you f how, how how do you feel about like the rest of mystery inc's uh fashion sense uh, how 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 do we rate how do we rate fred uh, I feel like he he's definitely an elf shoe kind of guy. Yeah. You know, with like the brown ones. You know, they're always in the bank as well. You know what yeah. I mean? Or like they're always in like interviews and stuff like that. I feel like he wears them kind of things. I, I feel like older Fred, you know, when he's like more mature would wear that kind of thing. But uh, I feel like uh, young Fred probably wore like sneakers and stuff like that. Yeah, I feel like younger Fred would, uh, he'd be, I feel I like... I feel like his classic one is good, but I feel yeah. like down the line he would get, tr try to be more, uh, mature even though he doesn't act that way and just yeah. kind of, yeah. Um, but, uh, uh, is that, is that what you think of Fred's one as well? Uh, see, I agree. I think like he'd be, pr I feel like he's, uh, I mean... Older Fred, yeah, would wear the elf shoes, but I think, like I said, younger Fred, I think he'd probably be, like, big into fashion, probably. Like, he'd be, like, he'd be wearing, like, Yeezys and stuff. Yeah. And he's, he seems like the kind of fellow that would, like, get some, like, Air Jordans. Genuine ones. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right, gang. Time to unbox my new pair of Air Jordans. Mm. Oh, no, gang. They're fake. <laughs> Let's track uh, down this scamming yeah. bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely fuming. No, I, have, I, I, I actually, I don't really like Velma's ones. They're like just, it's orange. But I mean, yeah, no, that, that I, I wouldn't wear them myself. But like, I don't know. It's uh it is. They are what they are. But uh, mm -hmm. you know, I feel like, uh, you know, she, she appears. She wants to appear smart and stuff. But I feel like down the line, she stop caring about that. Uh, as she grew mature and like with the mm. gang and stuff and uh i feel like uh daphne is uh comes in a close second to shaggy though yeah i feel like uh, i agree like there's like all good like color coordination but it's also like 
I mean, like, even... Still kind of yeah. varied. It's like, yeah, Daphne's pretty dripping, I think. I mean, like, when um, Scooby in uh, Scooby-Doo 2 Mo- uh, Monsters Unleashed tried on that shoe as well, I mean... I mean, I, I'd want to try that, too. I mean, like, if you're talking about an iconic shoe, I feel like they, they would be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Or, like, do you ever watch those, like, uh, comedy uh, movies, like, rom-coms especially? And, like, it's always, like, the heel on a woman that breaks. And does that happen a lot? Because they should be made better. Like, yeah, I, you know? I've never personally heard of that happening. But, like, I've seen it, like, in, like, movies and stuff like that where it would happen. Like, yeah. they're just walking down the street, and then next thing, like, just in the rain, and it's just like, Pfft! and it's just I, like... I've never personally heard of that happening. Yeah, I've never I, I heard we, it, like, I guess we need to... to ask people about that, but yeah, I've yeah, never like, personally uh, seen it. Yeah, I've only seen it in, like, movies and stuff like that, and they must be made, like, really terribly, like, you yeah. know what I mean? And, like, uh, but the thing is, I've seen shoes like that, but, like, it's the question, uh, is, was that only put in the movie for effect, or does that actually happen a lot? Because uh, it was so... <laughs> it's, they're so dramatic as well, like, you know what I mean? It's like the whole, like, heel came off and it's just like, <laughs> one leg is up and, like, one is, like, down on the ground or whatever, you know? It's uh, it's interesting. But, yeah. Uh, oh, uh, Celine from Underworld has great shoes as well. Oh, yeah, Underworld, a uh, lot of good fashion in that. Yeah, uh, Bill Nye as well, like... yeah. Wait, now, does he even wear shoes? I can't remember. Maybe he's in his bare feet. Could be. I don't know. He seems like the sort of fella that, like, you know, I think Bill Nye, he seems like the type of fella that uh, he'd be big into uh, slippers. Oh, of course. That's just my impression. I f- yeah, I feel like he'd wear elf shoes as well. But I feel like he'd wear them, like, you know on occasion you know what i mean only True. for the occasions just to appear because he feels like that kind of guy but i feel like he wears like the comfortable ones but also he would wear uh those kind of uh good shoes as well uh just for the comfort and stuff like that so yeah yeah um yeah i mean this is like so interesting we're really getting into the depth of like uh, the complete history of it, you know yeah. what I mean, stuff like that. Um, I I I think uh, genuinely shoes are important to our society. Yeah. Um, uh, especially uh, sh- shoes and socks. It's it's a classic mix, but I feel like it's a good mix, and I I don't think I don't want to change where it becomes the norm that we walk around in our bare feet. No, I don't know. I, I, you know, there's so much like glass on the ground no. now, and like, yeah, even I, if it is clean, I, I don't really feel, yeah, uh, right to be actually walking barefoot. I would never really walk barefoot, um, Neither would unless, I. Un- unless I'm in the bathroom. I always like make sure I'm like covered up or whatever. Obviously, like you know, it is, it is what it is. But yeah, yeah. I tend, not, I don't get why people like walking around barefoot so much. Like I always tend to wear socks just because like they're much comfier. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I agree with that. Yeah, 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 like I may, I may indeed have a crippling foot fetish that will one day uh, be the end of me, but I still have standards, yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, I feel like Samuel Jackson would wear like any type of shoe ever. Uh yeah, he would. Yeah. He's he pro he probably wear heels to be honest. And he'd like he'd do a great job of it. Oh no, he would do a good job. Um. Oh, I, I feel like Michael B. Jordan is definitely a moon shoe guy as well. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like he would. Oh my god! Like a couple of celebrities need to like do a vlog where they just wear moon shoes. <laughs> oh my god, that, Jimmy Jimmy Kimmel. That, yes, that's that's exactly. I was about to say like it's exactly something like he'd do on his show. Oh my god! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he'd be wearing them already like when Probably. he walked out yeah oh man like honestly jumping around in like his moon shoes like you know i love it i absolutely love it um like honestly it's uh it is amazing like the amount that we have and i'm just so uh happy like there's so many like different types and i'm like what the hell is next you know what i mean yeah and i don't think we need any other ones i feel like we've cracked the code of what we need like i feel like just a regular kind of shape and not making it elfy and not making it too square and too cubed i feel like the balance that we have in the regular size um 
is good. And uh, I feel like uh, they are uh, comfortable for a society for the next uh, couple of thousand years uh, until we're no longer, until we've evolved into like different uh, types. But for ourselves, I feel like this is a good thing and I would not like it to become the norm where it becomes uh, a sense to wear, uh, you know, just uh, cute shoes or or something or like wear no shoes at all like that that that's a nightmare for me yeah no i i would agree that's a very dystopian view to have no shoes in the future yeah there's another question i got though now you say like all kinds of footwear are shoes in your opinion yeah do you consider stilts to be footwear which ones are stilts again the big long sticks that people walk on seem at like parades and stuff uh I wouldn't necessarily say that's footwear because it's kind of underneath, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but I guess like they would have. Do they have like a strap around it uh, for their foot, right? They On top. must do, yeah. Or like, like unless yeah. you have like inhuman like good balance, like you'd fall off. Yeah. Um, they didn't have a strap. Yeah, I, I guess I guess that could be considered footwear, but I wouldn't. I don't know if would I consider it like a shoe because it's not necessarily all of the foot. You know what I mean? Yeah. But um. I don't, I don't really have, like, a problem with that for, like, parades or anything like that or the circus or if it's for uh, a certain thing to uh, equip yourself uh, for a certain activity. But uh, just in regular society, I don't think you would uh, find it. Uh, I don't think it would be the norm to actually wear that down the street. But it would be uh, quite, uh, honestly, very funny if, like, there was a man in heels, someone on stilts, uh, someone wearing Crocs, and then, like, someone behind you wearing bowling shoes. I feel like that would be a regular day in Cork City. It would be. Yeah. Do you... Um, but, yeah, the, the final question, though, is um, uh, for our audience. Uh, what do you think of uh, uh, your shoes and what is your favorite type of shoe? Uh, leave it in the comments below, you know. And don't forget to smash that like button. Hit the bell. Subscribe to our Patreon. Follow us on Twitter. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, donate to our OnlyFans. And uh, help us reach 1 million subscribers by December. And we will also be doing a giveaway. Uh, a free Ferrari, right? Yes. Comment down below for the chance to win a free Ferrari. And, and if uh, you don't get yeah. it, just, just know you only had a chance, so... Don't, don't don't be too demanding now yeah uh Good thank job. you thank you uh is, is that pretty much everything though is, i think so unless you yeah. got to do a part two at one point uh yeah I which don't... honestly this one we could yeah you seem we to have could. a lot to say here yeah no it's good uh that you know the topic of shoes can like become uh such a, a big thing yeah but, uh, it's such uh it is with like you know the history of it and stuff like that and the evolution of it yeah but, it really connects to our souls but yeah it's... but uh but uh, i i do believe though that uh the evolution we need to like uh stop for the next uh while because since uh the uh certain uh century and uh generation i feel like it's uh we're, we're at a good uh space for our shoes anyway yeah. Uh, I feel like we're all uh, wearing good things. Uh, be comfortable in yourselves. Be comfortable in your bo own body. And uh, yeah, uh, wear as much uh, uh, fluffy uh, socks and uh, slippers as much as you can. And uh, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, listening to the Funky Podcast. Any uh, closing thoughts, Sean? Always be styling. Yeah. Uh, thank you for listening to the Funky Podcast. Uh, check us out uh, next time. Thank you. Goodbye. How was that? That was very good.